It's Michael Woodhouse here. It's the 29th of January 2014, so Happy New Year to you. Nearly a month into it now, but it's my first video blog for 2014, a year that's going to be uh, incredibly busy, very exciting, uh, and indeed for me already has been uh, quite newsworthy. After a, a, a nice holiday in central Otago, I came back to Parliament with the batteries charged and refreshed and rearing to go. And also with the, uh, with the really good news for me that uh, the Prime Minister has asked me to join him around the Cabinet table. So for the last year I've been a Minister outside Cabinet and uh, with the minor reshuffle that took place this month I'm uh, going up into Cabinet. So that'll be uh, a mountain more reading for me to do this year but no change to portfolios. I retain immigration, veterans affairs and associate transport minister portfolios. I'm really pleased about that because I've enjoyed them. There's a lot of work to do, there's a bit of unfinished business, particularly with getting some legislation through for our veterans, the rewriting of the War Pensions Act, which is now 60 years old, and needs to be modernised to take account of the fact that we've created nearly 20,000 modern veterans from conflicts as far away as Afghanistan, Iraq, East Timor, the Solomons, and other theatres around the world. So it's important that they are well looked after, and I've had the legislation in to the House and it's before the Select Committee now. So I hope to get their report back next month and, uh, and we'll get that legislation through this year. There's also a lot going on in the immigration space and I introduced legislation to, among other things, uh, shine a light on migrant exploitation of those uh, foreign nationals working in our shores. I think the problem is low, but we need to be send a very clear signal to the migrant community that it's not okay for you to be exploited by unscrupulous employers who themselves sometimes are recent arrivals to New Zealand and if found guilty of that sort of practice could be liable for deportation. So there's a lot going on. While I've got these extra responsibilities, uh, it's business as usual in those portfolios. The other one, associate transport, of course, is one where I'm responsible for road safety. So it was terrific for me to be able to report that uh, the 2013 road toll at 254 was the lowest in more than 60 years. And if you take it on a per kilometres travelled basis, it's about one-sixth that which it was uh, 60 years ago. So not only is it lowest in that time, it's probably uh, we're travelling more and we're getting safer. Now that's precious little comfort to the families who've lost loved ones in road accidents in 2013 and so the challenge is to continue to reduce the impact of the inevitable mistakes that we'll make on the road and create a roading network that's increasingly free from death and injury and that's something that I'm committing to again this year as Associate Transport Minister. On the local front in Dunedin there's been a pretty big uh, discourse around the possibility of gas exploration starting off the coast of Dunedin at the end of January. And Adarko is sending their brand new exploration ship, the, uh, the Bob Douglas, uh, to survey and drill an exploratory well into the south end of the uh, Canterbury Basin, where they believe there could be viable deposits uh, of gas. It's 95% certain that it'll be gas, not oil. And I'm very strongly in support of their endeavours uh, for the possible economic benefits that it could bring to the region. Now, obviously not everybody agrees, and there is a strong lobby group uh, who are going to protest and already have that exploration on the basis of the environmental risks and the climate change impacts. I respect that, but I'm also uh, balancing those arguments up against uh, risk management the fact that gas is a far lower carbon footprint than oil and coal, uh, and of the economic benefits. So I support ProGas Otago, a group that was recently set up and now has about 4,000 Facebook members and is becoming increasingly active uh, in articulating the ProGas view, a very sensible view in my uh, opinion. But I have no doubt that the, uh, the dialogue and the action on both sides is going to continue through this year. I encourage that. That's what we do in a democracy and I think that's wonderful. Uh, but I'm out there saying that this is good for the city, it's good for the country uh, and it doesn't need to be bad for the environment and that'll be the message that I'll be continuing to send. So look out for some more around that. Uh, the students are coming back into town and uh, we're about to start our academic year so I want to welcome all of you 
uh, to Dunedin if it's your first time. Uh, I know you're going to fall in love with the place. It has so much to offer and I wish you all the best for your studies. We'll be seeing you in orientation week, hopefully in a couple of weeks uh, in February. Um, but in the meantime, I hope you're, uh, you travel safe and we'll see you at O-Week. Thanks everybody.